Hello, uh, good morning everyone and thank you so much for, for joining us for our inaugural webinar for the second half of 2021. Uh, our topic for today, we're actually going to be discussing on uh, how you can actually increase your sales in, uh, in difficult times. Uh, as, you all, as you all know and as you all understand, uh, the past uh, two years have been difficult uh, starting from 2020 and then stretching from, uh, from 2021. Uh, like uh, like most business people, I think when we started uh, last year, we were off, actually say uh, this year is actually going to be a banger. We we're, were actually going to make a lot of money. But then, um, how much the the first lockdown was actually declared, and um, most most business people that we've actually spoken to, they actually lost um, a sum of hope. Towards saying, all right, how best can you actually navigate this um, this environment? That is actually surely turned unpredictable. And I think as you're actually going, uh, there is now a third wave of, uh, of COVID that is approaching. I think it's already here. And it's, um, it's an environment also that you actually need to cogitize you on. And we have to adapt. I think adaptability is the most important thing for, for entrepreneurs, which actually brings us here now to, to this webinar. So for, for this webinar, we'll be having our CEO, uh, Mr. Jerry Monyas, I think uh, a lot of you are already familiar with him. So um, we are actually going to be having this uh, this discussion, just saying uh, how best can we navigate uh, this environment that we are in. Mr. Jerry, thank, thank you, you so much for being here, everyone. Actually, maybe engage into this webinar. It's not for me alone, but it's for us. We are not expected but we can actually give you advice in how we've been doing things this side. And I think we actually recorded most of our souls during the COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, when, uh, when we are actually declared, um, there is actually a lot that we have to adjust in terms of, uh, in terms of strategy. I think adaptability is, is one of the most important things. Um, as business people, as businesses, we should always be, be ready to adapt, which is something that is um, that is important and something that is actually key. So I don't know, uh, Mr. Jerry, for for entrepreneurs, I think from the last um, from the last few few months that we've actually been operating in this volatile environment, there are some key lessons that we have to learn, and I think uh, those key lessons uh, are actually what we want to to maybe highlight to to you to say, all right. If you are operating um, in this environment in 2021, what should you actually do or what should you um, not do? So um, over to you, Mr. John. Maybe you may just walk us through to us saying, all right, mistakes, what mistakes are, are entrepreneurs making when it comes to navigating this uh, this environment? And what should they actually do to, to mitigate those uh, those particular mistakes? People are thinking in terms of actually contracting, and uh, if you look at it, Tamuka, you notice that um, uh, yes, COVID actually started last year, but even th this year, people had set uh, bigger goals in 2021. Yeah. People were thinking, we are now going to make it. This is now our time. We we are going to recover from the effects of COVID in 2020, but boom. Uh, January, I think we had a, a, a lockdown, which was actually worse than the one we had last year. And cases were rising, people were dying. Uh, because what people did, they just thought that it was once off. It's an event. But we never know, like what you're actually saying, we're in the third world. Well, well, maybe it's going to go up to actually the 112. Who knows? So, what most of the companies did was we were actually caught pens down. People were not prepared. So the biggest mistake an entrepreneur can do, Mr. Tamuka, is uh, you don't have to change your goals for 2021. Yeah. That's the biggest mistake you're going to make. I know that in January, you had higher hopes. People had strategic meetings last year, December. People planned something which is actually very big. But, boom, COVID happened. Right now, we are facing, even currently, we are under a lockdown, which is uh, a bit lenient. But if the cases continue to rise, we're going also to get into another lockdown. So what you have to do as an entrepreneur, the biggest mistake you're going to make is actually reducing your goals. 
if it's your revenue you are targeting a million dollar you are targeting five million dollars you're targeting fifty thousand that mustn't change what should change is the strategy of making that 50 million dollars what do you think of it? Because in the end, we are actually saying, yes, we, we, we have this environment that is there. And I had someone who actually said that winters, entrepreneurs are actually born for winter. So this is more or less like a winter that is there. And, and like any winter, the goal is for us to actually find a way to navigate. And in navigating, we don't really need to, to, to even try and adjust to try and even contract. But it's actually the high time we should be even looking towards expansion, especially if you want to establish market dominance in this um, in this particular time period. I think if we look at it even in um, even in 2020, because in 2020, what we figured out is MAJ, we actually sat down, we actually thought to say, most of our competitors, because of this environment, that's what most people do. They are reactionary. They are saying, all right, we are now in a tough environment. Maybe we should start limiting ourselves. But we actually said, let us try to make as much noise as possible. Let us try to strategize as much as possible, such that we get market traction when everyone else seems, seems relaxed. So if there's any time to actually think of expansion, it is actually this time. Because trust me, most of the people who are playing in your industry right now, in your industry category, they are relaxed. They are not really investing into marketing. So I think that is important. Let us always think of expansion of expanding don't contract your business don't lower the targets if, if anything if there's anything that you should even do try to even set your targets high so that in the end when you actually it, it, it's actually better to know that all right you had a target of 100,000 we've put it to a million right that way it's actually better to fill it a higher target than it a lower target so let us try to push as much as possible but never lower the target the plan to, to, to open a branch, if a plan to increase uh, the food to many people, this is the right time of actually doing it. What I've noticed with most of these, uh, the new entrepreneurs, most of the people are actually focusing mostly on the operation side, but people, I've noticed that most of the sales personnel uh, was retrenched from the period of uh, last year, February up to now, which means you've got a lot of talented sales people out there in the market this is the right time of actually grabbing everyone who is talented into your organization it's not the time which you need to actually say i want to contract i want to, to retrench people let me remove my numbers i don't think in terms of course always think in terms of revenue the most important part of your financial statement is the revenue so actually it's the time of for to focus on increasing the revenue rather than focusing on actually uh, reducing, uh, thinking of our costs, reducing the cost. So I, I, I think we, we don't have to contract. Then you go on to point number two, whereby we're saying, stop retreating. Uh, we sh you, shouldn't, you shouldn't retreat. You should actually go out. It's better to die fighting than for you to actually die whilst you're actually uh, retreating. You want to, 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 to quit. Some of the people that have been quitting, it's a matter of now finding what actually best works for you. What is the market asking for? If you are actually depending on people who are coming to your shop, even if you're a retail, you're used to people. I think in Zimbabwe, I've read most of the people saying, Nasa, kuna basa. Today, there's no work. Like, you are supposed to be the one who is looking for that work. It, it happens because of you it doesn't happen to you don't let the market determine what is going to happen you are the one who is going to drive those souls so it's a mere life we use to actually maybe um, just looking for people who come to your shop even if you're selling clothes you have to wait for someone to visit your shop this is the right time to go and open your power base what's a power base a power base we're talking of people we are connected to be it friends be it church members, be it even ex-girlfriends and ex-boyfriends. They have to know what you are selling. They have to know the business you are in. It's a matter of driving souls. Go out. Does the person who is next to you, your next door, your neighbor, do they know your business? Your church mates, 
do they know your business your friends do they really know your your business it's no longer the time of actually going to facebook and starting chasing for each and every other other gossip which is happening in the country it's a matter of driving your commodities driving your service on facebook driving them on twitter driving them on instagram on linkedin on tiktok on pinterest wherever what you can do 